Hello and welcome to Do You Even Cook Bro? Today we're going to be doing a seared duck breast and I'm going to show you how to render and store the fat. So to start of course we have a duck breast. This is 6 ounces and what we're going to do here is we're going to pat it dry so that it will sear well on both sides and then we're going to make cuts into the top of the duck skin. Now you're going to want to, you don't want to just slice across the duck skin and make little lines. What you actually want to do here is cut down into the skin so that you go so far as you almost pierce through and into the meat, but you do not want to cut into the meat. So as you can see here, I'm cutting across the duck and as I pull it apart, you can see how I've gotten close to the meat, but I did not cut into it and through the skin completely. So once you've done one side, you're going to turn it around and give it that trademarked cross-hatched pattern. And this side should go more easily because you've already done one set of cuts. And what this does is it helps render the fat more easily. If you just threw the duck right in the pan without any cuts, the skin would curl up and you wouldn't get draw as much fat out as you want. Once we've got this nice cross-hatched pattern, we're going to brush it extremely lightly with olive oil. We barely need any because of the amount of fats it's going to produce like bacon. Did you hear that? I just salted it on both sides there. Next step is to preheat a pan at medium high heat. And how do we know if it's hot enough? Throw water on it. If it does that, we're good to go. Now, unless your duck breast is less than six ounces, I really wouldn't even go over and check on it or lift it up for at least five minutes. It should take around five minutes, but you want to draw as much fat out of the skin as you can and crisp up the skin as much as you can before you check it here like I am. And if it looks golden brown and crispy like this, give it a flip and put it on the other side. At this point, if it starts splattering too much, you can lower the heat a little bit, but as you can see that pink underside now has turned kind of white and it's ready. Now we're going to put it on a cutting board to rest with an aluminum foil tent for around 7 to 10 minutes. This stuff bleeds like crazy if you do not let it rest, so let it rest. To store the duck fat, we're just going to pour the drippings into a glass container and put it in the refrigerator or freezer where it'll stay almost indefinitely. But wait, don't wash that pan. See that brown stuff stuck to the bottom? Call that the fond. And what we want to do is we're going to release it with some liquid or sauce so that the pan's not only easier to clean, but you draw up the caramelized meat juices into the sauce that you're making or just reheating to put over the duck. Here I'm just reheating a gastric I had previously made. Hey, guess what? Our 10 minutes are up and it's finally time to cut into the breast. Now look at this. This did actually rest for 10 minutes and see how much it still bleeds. The last thing you want is to serve someone a duck breast that's going to get juices and uh, muck all over their plate. It's going to look messy. It's not going to look appetizing. But now that we've got the duck cut up, all that's left to do is plate it, pour a little bit of that sauce over it. I did, serve mine with some mashed potatoes, asparagus, and a romesco. And there you have it, a seared duck breast. Enjoy.